Well, bless the morning, friends and folks. Today is January 11, 2024. So, no further ado, let's dive right into the bullpen Wayne Nixon's lesson. Today, we're learning about having a renewed mind, <clears throat> which would be a mind in Christ. Once you give your heart to him, he's going to give you his mind. And what's his mind? You won't put things under your control. You'll see how you're under his control and the outcome will be something that you can't fathom sometimes. It'll go beyond your expectations. It'll give you much joy. Even if you're getting persecuted, believe it or not. Bless them that persecute you. Be good to them that despitefully use you. We have a scripture of Romans 12 and 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we have a quote from Erwin Lutzer. The difference between worldliness and godliness is a renewed mind. Amen to that. Inward. <clears throat> How will we see things when God's wisdom has become a part of our own thinking? What should this renewed, transformed mind of the believer look like? There are three radical reorientations that we must undergo. We will begin to understand our time, our treasures, and our talents differently. We will stand in a dramatically different place than we once stood, and our perspective will reflect the change. Our eyes will gaze on new heights, and our desires will learn in new directions. We'll lean in new directions. We are a new creation. We will learn to live as one. How do we get there? Do we change suddenly or little by little? Is it by the diligence of our effort or by the merciful gift of God? It is a matter of hand study or spiritual osmosis. The answer is all of the above. God will give us his mind. We could be sure of that. It comes from him out of the mercies of his goodwill. And he is generous with all of his children. But it also requires a diligence that will search his word. Seek his guidance, cooperate with his plan, receive his correction, and wait patiently for his providence. We are to boldly persevere in our ambition and our ambitious drive to receive the completely free gift of God's wisdom. Indeed, the conclusion. If you became a believer as a child and do not remember well the difference between your new life and your old, you may have lost sight of the radical nature of the new mind. Or if you once knew the power of transformation, but have since let it slide into a hybrid life of the new and the old, you may have lost sight of the constant call of the new creation. In either case, let your mind be transformed and your life renewed again and again. <clears throat> it is a lifelong process for the believer, a work. A work that God will complete the day he takes you into his presence. Never settle for the status quo. Never grow complacent or stale. Never lose sight of the upward call of God and out of the ways of this world and into the heart of his will. Right on. That's just simply to me. It's reading the word, getting it in your heart, and your heart transform, transfers it to your mind. And your mind tells the body what to do. And it's an ongoing process till the day that you come home. Just like it says, when you cross the stars and you're right before God and you're laying all them crowns at his feet, the crowns that you're giving onto you, they're not for you. They're the crowns that you give to him. And then you get to enter in. Job well done, good and faithful servant. And the Lord will say your name and you enter in. And you get to be there with all the people that you miss, that you know went there. For me, my woman, she has the other half of my heart in the kingdom of heaven. None other than Moheha Wunderdoff, Magpie Feather Woman, any very short hunter. And someday, we'll rejoin. But I'm going to keep on keeping on with this renewed mind. Inspire, test, purity, and silver and gold. <laughs> the Lord tests the heart. And with this fire in my mind, it burns away all the bullets, just all the machete. You hear me say that word a lot. I think by now y'all know machete is crap. <laughs> Maybe you think, oh, what kind of a minister uses a word like that? Well, this one right here. Because <laughs> crap burns. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And what is left over is the path where you need to go because the crap's on out the way. 
So there it is. Ever renewed mind. Know that Jesus' spirit is always over your flesh. You just got to give it to him. Bless your journey.